Hey everybody, it's Austin. It's a super hot Monday evening here in Kansas City and we are about to head on our five week journey uh, up to the Northwest with our pop-up camper. And we're getting the brackets put on to put the camper in the back of the truck as we prepare to load it uh, so we can leave in a, in a little bit. And I just wanna show you guys the front brackets that we're using um, in conjunction with the torque lift brackets that I already installed in a video I posted a few days ago. And I'm gonna show you guys how we adjusted these brackets to fit our needs and a little bit of the modifications that we did that um, will either be a separate video all on its own or incorporate bits and pieces in this video. So stay tuned to see how the Brophy mounts uh, camper tie downs work for our truck and our truck camper. So how these brackets work is kind of like a cantilever setup. This hangs over your bed rail. Let me get this screwed in a little bit. So you set this to the depth of your uh, truck bed. Some trucks it needs to be set a lot deeper. Like if we're setting these brackets in this cavity here, because when we put them over the edge of the truck bed and it rests on the edge like that, these have to be set in pretty far so that it meets resistance to the side of the truck bed. And how it is held there is by this bracket that slides in between the lip of the truck bed like that. And then you put your uh, cantilever bracket on the outside. What we did that I uh, might include in a different video is we took the bolts that used to go through the outside and into this bracket and then you'd put a nut on the back. We cut the heads of the nuts off and welded them to the back here. So that all you have to do is put this bracket up here, put this one on top, and then it can slide into place just like that. And you can access your nuts on the outside because it's really challenging to fit a open-ended wrench or ratcheting wrench in between the lip of the truck bed and the bracket when you were back in here. So that's what we adjusted to make those work. And it took quite a while, but I think will be beneficial to allow us to move this bracket further to the front because you want your tie downs to be pulling the camper into the truck bed. So our front brackets will be doing that with the camper. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this forward and set it at the front of the truck bed. So what we're gonna do now is we have this as far forward as we can, which originally we couldn't do. And that made it hard to attach to the truck camper because this was scooted back, which is more in line with the hooks on our camper. But scooting it forward will help us get the spread that we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in between here without bending this down to hit the truck side of the truck. So we got those bolts through there. Make sure it's uh, pinching against the sides of the truck bed. I think I need to tighten this. Anything? I don't think so. There we go. So now we can bring this out. So now that you've got it where you want it, you can go ahead and put the nuts on that will go ahead and pinch the inner piece to the outer piece pinching the edge of the truck bed. And that's what holds it in place, but it's the cantilever action from the strap of the truck bed, or the camper, pulling up on this and pressing this into the side of the truck bed to keep it taut. 
So we're gonna go ahead and tighten these down and all these bolts are 9 16 or all these nuts. So we should go ahead and tighten that down. Make sure it's down in place. And we added a little plastic piece on top just to keep this edge from digging into the bed rail cover of the Tundra, just to keep it from wearing in one little spot. All right, so we'll go ahead and, and torque those down a little bit tighter just to make sure that everything is super snug, but they don't give any um, foot pound um, suggestions in the manual because it's too hard to get a wrench behind the brackets without the modification that we've done to get a torque wrench on there. But these are super inexpensive um, for truck camper mounts and allows anybody to put these on their truck and haul a truck camper uh, without having to buy the expensive frame mount attachments like the torque lift product that I did in my last video. And it'll work for your truck too. Uh, you just have to figure out if you wanna spend the bigger bucks for the frame mount or um, go a equally safe route, um, but a little bit less expensive. So we are loading up our truck camper in the back of the Tundra, preparing for our trip. And we have put in two three quarter inch pieces of pressure treated plywood, which you should invest in this because it is stupid expensive. Um, $140 for two sheets because we want to get our camper up off the bed just a little bit because the Tundra bed rail walls are pretty darn tall. So we have these in here now and I'm just gonna throw in a couple one inch screws just to hold them together while we're traveling. I don't know that they would move, but just gives me a little peace of mind. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I think that's all I'm gonna do just to keep it together so it doesn't go sliding about and miss a line. So we're gonna go ahead and put the camper in the back and attach to our Brophy tie downs on the front and our torque lift tie downs that we just installed here on the back. All right, so we got the camper on the truck. It took a few more backup attempts than you all just saw, but we didn't want to bore you with that. So we have the truck camper perfectly centered on our pressure tree to plywood. And we've plugged in our seven pin connector that will route beyond the tailgate and plug in underneath, which charges the camper as we travel and provides us all of our lights. And you can see the Brophy bracket that we installed earlier, right here. Sorry, the sun is awful. It hangs over the edge and we have it spaced out enough to just be tied down with one 350 pound uh, turnbuckle. I believe it's 3 8 uh, Yeah, 3 8 inch turnbuckle. So those things are super strong and that will hold it down. And then we will run chains from here, or you can get the torque lift quick, quick connects, which are just one like bar that are pretty quick, but hence the name. But we're just gonna use chains and quick links. So we'll run that from here down to there and we should be set up and ready to go. But you can see looking at the side of the truck, let me go to the other side, that we only have five pounds of air in the bags, in the airbags that I installed. And she sits pretty darn level. Let me get out of the sun. So here's the front. And there's the back. So pretty darn sweet without even putting air in the bags yet. So we'll go ahead and add, I think we added 60 pounds of air last time. And it brought her right back up a couple inches. So I hope this 
giving you a good example of uh, what it looks like. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions, leave them down below because we will be on a five week road trip with the Tundra and the camper. And I'm sure we'll come across a lot of new answers that we didn't know we had. So let me know down below and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.